Hi, I'm Melissa from Rapid Resizer, and this is the tutorial for the designer tool in the Rapid Resizer program. You can use this if you have a designer or pro subscription. Begin by clicking on the designer tool. To get back to the home page, click the home button here. Click on the arrow button to see the tools menu. Click on new design to clear an old project and begin a new one. Click on import design to use an image from your computer or from your saved designs. Click here to save your design. Click on export to download your design to your computer or to email it. You can change the line style, add text, add a background grid, or email us a question here. If you need a grid for your project, click here. You can show the grid and align images by clicking snap points to grid. You can also choose the size of the grid here by clicking the arrows. Click line style to choose the width of the point, as well as the color and type of line, solid, dashes, or dots. Along the top of the screen are tools for drawing lines and shapes. Click this line button to create straight lines, which will snap to the lines of the grid if you have selected that option. Select the square button to draw any size of square or rectangle and hold down the enter key while dragging the cursor to create a perfect square. Shapes radiate from the center outwards. Click the circle button to create ovals and circles and hold down the enter key to create a perfect circle. Click the semicircle button to draw arcs which will be converted into a smooth semicircle. Select the move tool which has a hand on it. This needs to be selected to move any element. Each shape is made of points that can be moved independently by dragging it. When you have the option to move points, the cursor will look like a white plus sign, or the whole shape can be moved when the cursor looks like a black plus sign. Select the eraser tool to delete the shapes by clicking once. To delete images and text, select the eraser tool and then remember to double click instead. Click the option to snap points to grid so that elements will automatically connect to the grid. You can change the size of the grid squares to fit shapes together more closely if necessary. Sometimes the snap option can prevent you from moving a shape if it is not on a grid line, so just use that option when it works for your project. Turn off the grid to use a blank canvas. Click Insert Design to choose an image from your computer or from your saved designs. This is a stained glass pattern that is from our library of free designs on the home page. Select the Move tool and a box will appear around the image. Drag the box by the corners to resize the design. Drag the design by the center to move it around the screen. Drag the design or text by the bottom right hand corner to rotate it. Select the eraser tool to remove sections of images that you don't want to use. When you erase quickly, it deletes a larger area, so erase slowly to delete finer details. If you erase too much, then click the undo button. Release the mouse and click again often as you erase details so that if you erase too much, you can click the undo button and just the last bit of erasing will be undone. To add details to an image, click the draw tool which has a pencil on it. The lines you draw are made of movable points like the shapes and can be moved independently when you select the move tool. This is helpful for drawing shapes onto a line drawing to create a pattern. Simply click the move tool and then adjust the points to edit line placement. I clicked New Design to remove this and will now use a different save design to show how you can combine text and images. Go to the drop down menu and click Add Text. Type words in the box at the top. Click Enter to place the words on separate lines. All of our fonts are listed alphabetically here in one place. There are no categories. Choose a font and click Add to Design. For another word with a different font, click Add Text again. With the Move tool selected, the box will appear around the text and you can move it into place. It helps to turn the grid on so that you can line up the text with your image. Just change the grid size if you need a different center line, as there are no rulers in this tool yet. To bend your text, enter a number in this section. I'm using 50 as an example. When you have the arc you want, just click the button that says Add to Design. To arc it the other way, use the minus key on your keyboard in front of the number. To change the spacing between letters, just move this slider and then click Add to Design. If you want to fill the letters in with black or use color, you need to create it in the Letter Stencil Maker first and then import it over here. Click the Home button to return to the main screen and click on the Letter Stencil Maker. The fonts are divided by category in this tool. 
Click on the Options drop-down to edit the outline, spacing, or to fill in the letters. Click on Lines to change the outline by clicking here in the Color field. Click on Fill to fill in text and be sure to click again on the Color field and then click Close. To save the edited text to save designs, click on the Print button as there isn't a Save option. Then click New Project to return to the home page and return to the Designer tool. Click on Import Design to find it in your saved designs and select the filled in text. To add text to an irregular shape, you can add it one letter at a time. For this example, I'm using a semicircle, but this works for any shape of text. Click Add Text and choose a single letter. Then drag it by the upper corners to resize it, and rotate it by the bottom right hand corner to rotate it into position. It helps to use the grid for this technique. If you begin with the middle letter of the word and work outwards, it will be easier to center. To add a shape to an image instead of letters, click on the shape tool you want to use. I'm using a square in this example to create a box around the tree. Select the Move tool to move the shape into position and drag the corners to resize it. When you combine elements such as image, text, or shapes, you can move each element independently around the screen while you are in the Designer tool. But when you click Print and use other tools there such as the Save Ink tool, the design gets flattened into one image. So when you open it again in the Designer tool, the elements can't be moved around like before. However, you can simply use the eraser to remove elements or add new elements. This is helpful to know when your project requires several copies of the same image with a different name or number. When you upload the same file more than once, it will appear in the same place as the first one. So select the Move tool to place it elsewhere in your design. If you are uploading an image that you are tracing over, then click the Fade Image box. Then it will upload in a lighter tone so that you can draw over it and see the difference. Select the Eraser tool and double click to delete images. So we'll add another copy of this and click the Print button to edit and resize this image further. Click where it says Customize Before Resizing to see the editing tools. Mirror the text in your design here if you need it to be backwards or arch or skew your design. Be sure to always use the crop tool to remove any extra space from your design so it will resize properly. Use the reflect tool vertically or horizontally here. And use the save ink tool to lighten or darken your design or invert the black and white areas. You can get back to the designer tool here for further editing or add a border to your project with this tool. The color tool can be used with a pro subscription if you want to color your design or access the material calculator to see how much glass, wood, or fabric you'll need. Enter the sizes for width and height and the blue lines show how many pages it will print on. If you uncheck the proportional box, the height will not be automatically calculated. And the preview will show how your design will squeeze or stretch to fit the unproportional size. So just keep the proportional box checked to resize your design with its original dimensions. You can also resize by percentage or by a specific part. Or click Fit Page to print on one page. The main thing is to finish all editing before resizing. You can change the paper size here, as well as page border, offsetting, and other options in this drop-down menu. To download your design instead of printing it, click the Download button here. Download a PDF of the resized version, or download an unsized SVG or PNG below that. This will save it as an SVG if that was your original file type. This will not convert another file type into an SVG. To do that, use the Vectorizer tool on the home page. Or just click the Print button to print your project to any size. I hope you found this tutorial helpful, and just click the Help button at the top of any page to write to us with further questions about how to use the designer tool. Thanks for watching.